Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Speaker of the Representatives Council for Ziyah Zainal on the occasion of the 21st anniversary of the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women. Zainal hailed Bahraini women's outstanding achievements across all fields, which contributed to supporting family stability and cohesion and bolstering active partnership for national development. She paid tribute to Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and hailed the Council's efforts to promote Bahraini women's standing. She wished His Majesty good health and happiness and Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable congratulations from the Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh on the occasion of the 21st anniversary of the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women. Al Saleh said that the establishment of the Council came as a result of His Majesty's wise vision and pioneering approach which supported Bahraini women's advancement. He commended the Council's efforts led by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the CW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, in promoting Bahraini women's role across all fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 21st anniversary of the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah said that the establishment of the Council came as a result of His Majesty's wise vision and pioneering approach, which supported Bahraini women's advancement. He commended the Council's efforts, led by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and promoting Bahraini women's role across all fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the beauty of Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi at Rafah Palace following Bahrain's taking command of the CTF 152 Combined Maritime Task Force that maintains maritime security in the Arabian Gulf. His Royal Highness commended the BDF along with its allies in furthering global efforts that safeguard international maritime traffic from threats that impact global trade. He highlighted the BDF's combat and administrative readiness driven by its highly skilled personnel and efficient military systems. He noted the BDF's prominent role in advancing the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander. His Royal Highness affirmed Bahrain's support for all endeavors aimed at protecting maritime security and enhancing regional stability and wish the beauty of success in carrying out its duties in taking command of the CTF-152. And Naimi then presented His Royal Highness with a summary of the CTF-152 mission and the BDF's role in cooperating with Allied Armed Forces to maintain regional security and stability. He expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness's continued support to the BDF and emphasized the BDF's commitment to achieving the Kingdom's desired goals. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Speaker of the Representatives Council for Ziyah Zainal on the occasion of the 21st anniversary of the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women. Zainal commended the achievements of Bahraini women in light of the wide range developments led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She wished His Royal Highness good health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh on the occasion of the 21st anniversary of the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women. Al Saleh commended His Royal Highness's continued support to bolstering Bahraini women's role within the government, which has led to many achievements. He praised the pioneering role of the SCW led by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, in supporting Bahraini women in all fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Infrastructure Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa on the occasion of the 21st anniversary of the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah said that the establishment of the Council came as a result of His Majesty's wise vision and pioneering approach and also praised the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness which supported Bahraini women's advancement. He commended the Council's efforts led by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and promoting Bahraini women's role across all fields. He hailed the role of His Royal Highness in maintaining women's rights and wished him good health and happiness.
Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fozi Zainal, on the occasion of the 21st anniversary of the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women. Zainal praised the role of Her Royal Highness in dealing with women's issues and her efforts to advance them in all fields, valuing the achievements made by Bahraini women through Her Royal Highness's presidency of the SCW in light of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She wished Her Royal Highness good health and happiness. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, marking the 21st anniversary of the establishment of the SCW. Al Saleh expressed his pride in the great efforts made by Her Royal Highness to raise the status of Bahraini women and praise the civilizational renaissance witnessed by the Kingdom of Bahrain in light of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He affirmed the leading role of the Supreme Council for women in adopting and following up on Bahraini women's empowerment as Bahrain has become a regional and international model for the advancement of women. Fourteen years after the implementation of the initiative of the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, to dedicate a national day for Bahraini women on the 1st of December of every year in appreciation for the March of Bahraini Women, which was first celebrated in 2008 in commemoration of the 80th year of the beginning of the formal education for women and in light of the celebrating in all fields of Bahraini women's participation in the work and production sector and in general life. In the 21st anniversary of the SCW's establishment, the Council announced the Bahraini Women's Day identity for the next phase, which will be inclusive of the achievements of Bahraini women under the, the slogan, She Read, She Learned, and She Contributed. The Secretary General of the SCW, Halil Ansari, said that the, this occasion, that the Bahraini Women's Day initiative in the past, and based on the directives of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, worked on more than one level when allocating the subject of the event. Al Ansari added that the Bahraini Women's Day of 2022 and the upcoming years will continue its current goals through shedding light on the achievement, achievements and developments as a result of the implementing the National Plan for the Advance of Bahraini Women and its framework through highlighting and clarifying the achievements in reality. The Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates the 21st anniversary of the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women, which highlights the advancement of Bahraini women in all fields. More in this report. Bahrain celebrates the 21st anniversary of the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women, over two decades of achievements and accomplishments for and by Bahraini women, based on assuming their national responsibilities and duties with efficiency and competence. These accomplishments confirms the insightful and broad vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the tremendous efforts of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. The Council has become the national reference to all official entities with regard to women's matters and issues and the body responsible for setting the general policy to follow up on the progress of Bahraini women. The National Plan for the Advancement of Bahraini Women seeks to ensure the achievement of family stability and to enable it to meet the requirements to contribute to competitiveness and development based on the principle of equal opportunities and the integration of women's needs into development in order to achieve opportunities for them to excel and improve, which made Bahrain become a regional center specialized in women's issues.
And to speak more about this, Shura Council Member and Member of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee and Youth Affairs Committee at the Shura Council, Ms. Nancy Khadouri, highlights the occasion of the 21st anniversary of the establishment of the SCW in the following statement. The celebration of the anniversary of the founding of the Supreme Council for Women is seen as an annual review to highlight the achievements in terms of empowering, and today we use the terminology advancement of Bahraini women in society, politically, socially, and economically. The national and international standing enjoyed by the Supreme Council for Women under the leadership of Her Royal Highness, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty, long live his reign, helps Bahraini women in the national development process in the Kingdom of Bahrain in various fields and helps in preserving women's rights and is considered a role model at the regional and international levels thanks to the pivotal role played by the Supreme Council for Women that continues that continues to tirelessly follow up with the legislative and executive authorities on women's affairs, ensuring justice and equal opportunities in order to achieve the royal aspirations in supporting Bahraini women. Throughout the past 21 years, the Supreme Council for Women has helped mold and build partnerships with various official and civil institutions to ensure the achievement of strategic objectives in a way that translates the visions and aspirations of the Bahraini women and helps to enhance their status locally and internationally. I take the opportunity to wish the Supreme Council for Women many more fruitful years ahead to achieve further progress. In fulfillment of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's vision and implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa announced the launch of a 100% Bahraini-built satellite project in the kingdom. His Highness said that the project is expected to be completed and launched by the end of December 2023, noting that this project is a distinguished achievement for the kingdom as a group of Bahraini youth who are qualified in the field of space sciences and technologies will contribute to building it. His Highness paid tribute to the management of the National Space Science Agency for the tremendous efforts they have exerted to place the kingdom among leading countries in the space sector. He expressed appreciation for the efforts of the members of the Bahrain Space Team for their distinguished scientific contributions to the fields of space sciences and the unique innovations they have presented which contributed to establishing an advanced technical infrastructure in the kingdom and confirms Bahraini excellence in various fields. His Highness attributed Bahrain space strides to His Majesty the King's vision and directives to develop efforts in the field of space. NSSA Board of Directors Chairman Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed expressed deepest thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his ongoing follow-up on NSSA's activities and support for its national competencies. He expressed his pride in the distinguished achievements of the Bahrain space team since its establishment in 2018, pledging that NSSA will carry on its efforts to bring about more landmark achievements. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, Noga Holding, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received GPIC Chairman Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed and Noga Holding CEO Mark Thomas. He praised Noga Holding's great efforts in developing the oil and gas sectors as they take essential parts of the national economy to meet the vision of His Majesty the King and the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. His Highness stressed the importance of GBIC's role in developing the oil and gas sectors in the kingdom, which contribute to enhancing Bahrain's competitive position and stimulate the investment environment. GBIC chairman expressed his appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for appointing him and stressed his keenness to implement His Highness's development vision and continue the path of supporting the national economy and upgrading the oil and gas sectors. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Al Rashid Al Zayani, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Development Cooperation of Burundi, Albert Shingiro, on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain. Dr. Al Zayani praised the friendly relations between the two countries, which are based on mutual respect and constructive cooperation. He expressed Bahrain's keenness in strengthening bilateral cooperation in various fields to serve mutual interests. The Burundi minister expressed thanks and appreciation to Dr. Zayani, expressing pleasure in visiting Bahrain. He praised the existing cooperation between the two friendly countries and stressed his country's keenness to, de to develop bilateral cooperation in all fields. The two sides discussed friendship relations and cooperation and ways to enhance and develop joint cooperation in the political, economic and commercial fields and increasing joint coordination in international forums to serve the common interests of the two countries. They also discussed developments and political and security challenges in the region Region and the African continent, as well as their repercussions on regional and international security. The two ministers signed an MOU on political consultations between the two countries with the aim of enhancing joint cooperation in the political and diplomatic fields. In its continuous contribution to empowering the youth and expanding their experiences, the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence graduates the first batches of the King Hamad Faith and Leadership Fellowship Program. More in this report. The King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and This is Bahrain Society celebrate the graduation of students from the first and second batch of the King Hamad Faith and Leadership Fellows Program. This program is designed to equip young people with confidence and experience and to develop their full potential, combining spiritual growth with effective leadership skills. This is something that's very dear to the heart of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. And this is Bahrain and the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence are honored to play a very small part in realizing part of His Majesty's vision, uh, his um, philosophy that peaceful coexistence and religious freedom are the right of every man, woman and child in the planet. And uh, for these programs, um, we have been inundated, we've been overwhelmed by applications from young people throughout the kingdom. I think that is a testament to the success because the 40 graduates who have already gone out uh, to share their program with those others in the kingdom, um, it's, it's garnering the interest of other young people who understand that a wonderful university or vocational education um, is invaluable, of course, but leadership skills, being able to recognize different personality types and how to deal with them, understanding the faith stories of others, not just in Bahrain but around the world. The program is based largely on the program we run in the United Kingdom, um, affiliated. It, initially, it was actually incubated at Cambridge University, and now it's affiliated to St. Bennett's Hall at the University of Oxford. Um, and our chair is uh, the Regis Professor of Divinity at the University of Cambridge still. And the program has, this program has three modules. Uh, module one is intended to um, enable students to understand that leadership resides in oneself. Module two is about leadership from the outside, uh, how do you, in, 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 in interactions with others. And lead, uh, module three is about application, how do you apply leadership to make a difference in society. And you know what, these young people are so amazing. Thanks to the investment of This Is Bahrain and the King Hamad Global Center, I mean, those are visionary examples of these, uh, these two entities. So we want the, your young people to come and mentor our young people in, in the United Kingdom and in India and elsewhere. That's our, that's our hope. It is developed by the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence in conjunction with the Faith and Leadership Program, which is the United Kingdom's leading training and mentoring organization for faith leaders. Um, we are actually very grateful for um, this program, especially to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and to the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence. This opportunity is not available to many around the world. And for us as Bahraini youth to have this opportunity and be a part of a leading program that it prepares us to be ambassadors to His Majesty and spread the word and the statements in the King bah Kingdom of Bahrain declaration, it is just an unexplainable sensation. Of course it adds to its value. Cambridge and Oxford are one of the most prestigious universities in the world and we have been taught by excellent professors who offer nothing but quality education to ensure that we as Bahraini youth are receiving the best level of um, training so that not only do we learn it but we are able to teach it later to others with the same quality that we have received.
Affiliated with both Oxford and Cambridge Universities, the King Hamad Faith and Leadership Fellows Program focuses on promoting greater understanding about the customs, cultures and beliefs of the various faith communities, dispelling ignorance and fostering peaceful coexistence amongst all humanity whilst consolidating the traditional Bahraini values of mutual respect and love for all. This is Sarah Lebrek reporting for Bahrain International. The Electricity and Water Authority affirmed its keenness to develop its services and facilitate all the procedures provided to the customers, especially those of the elderly and people with special needs category. The EWA noted the special attention it pays to this category, which prompted the authority to launch the service of visiting its elderly and special needs customers in their homes to receive and edit their application at the same time without the need to conduct any electronic or phone transactions or visit the authority. The authority renewed its call for all customers of the elderly and people people with special needs to benefit from the field visit service when they need to make any requests related to EWA. The authority affirmed the positive response achieved by this service since its launch in September last year until now, with a number of field visits reaching 973 visits. The Ministry of Industry and Commerce, represented by the Directorate of Testing and Metrology, announced the start of collecting the data of the National Report of Entities that Obtained Management System Certificates in Bahrain for the year 2022. The National Report monitors the size and trends of development in the number of ISO certificates and documents Bahrain's experience in applying global systems that are acclaimed for their success. Rotary Club Adliya is part of Bahrain's Rotary Clubs that undertakes community projects and applies their members' expertise in giving back globally. The project is directed towards youth empowerment and was called Career Testers. The club celebrated the graduation of the third batch of students from the Career Testers program, which is dedicated to build the students' awareness of the career options available to them at a point that their educational paths were important futuristic key decisions regarding their direction of their studies and professional lives are imminent. Rotary International focuses on seven areas of focus, one of them being youth and empowerment, uh, economic empowerment. Uh, the other areas are environment, mother and child, basic literacy and education, uh, water, hygiene and sanitation, and many others. So uh, we have a uh, multi focus in each club and we also have joint uh, yes. initiatives between all the four clubs and the two youth clubs that we have in Bahrain. Career Tasters has been running for the third year now and uh, its prime objective is to uh, enable young people at high school years to explore different sectors in Bahrain and see what the market can offer in terms of professions. Uh, it's a pure career guidance initiative uh, that enables uh, these young kids to take the right decisions in order to minimize the transfer from one discipline to the other and this feeling of being lost and not knowing what to study. Uh, we have uh, tried it twice before and uh, has, have received a lot of positive feedback from parents and students in terms of being enlightened either by being um, kind of validating what they really wanted or actually changing completely what they are, were previously aware of. Well, it gave me an insight on what companies were from the inside rather just from the outside. It, uh, it gave me, it, it 
aided me with visits which I normally would not be able to go to. It basically let me go in backstage and see what it actually is like to work at different places. If anyone's confused or if anyone's just wondering what they want to do in the future, it definitely gives an insight on what, like, what path you should follow. The Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi received the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, who arrived in Egypt on an official visit. The Egyptian President exchanged cordial talks with the UAE President, which reflects the strong fraternal ties between the two countries and their peoples. They highlighted the strong bilateral relations and ways to bolster them further. They also exchanged views regarding several issues and topics of mutual interest and the latest regional and global developments. The meeting also touched on the significance of enhancing joint Arab action and unity and facing the challenges witnessed by the Arab region.